no video yesterday. Um, one word why that is. Um, Skyrim. Today I'm going to Rockville Park and I want to clean out all the caches there. Um, there's like seven or eight earth caches. There's two regular ones that I haven't found yet and a, um, a multi. So I'm going to try and get all of them before it gets dark. Hopefully I can do it. Well, I'm here at the park learning about the earth doing earth caches. Um, all of these rocks they're from a volcano. Volcanic rock. Like basalt. And other ones. But anyway. This area up here is pretty cool. It's called the quarry. That's just what they call it. But uh, it looks pretty cool, so here's a, a view. So you can see there's just a really big rock wall. It's pretty cool. And you gotta answer questions about the area and the geography and stuff. So I'll find out. Okay, I'm at it. I just need to find out the questions and answer them. Okay, I'm gonna see uh, how this works. It might be a terrible video, but I'm gonna put you in this pocket so you can see where we're going. I don't have to carry the camera. There we go. How's that? Pretty bad? Yeah, it's probably pretty bad, huh? Well, I'm gonna check it out. Review footage time. Yeah, I won't be doing that again. It didn't work so well. Anyway, I'm going to the rock garden. It's that way. Well, this is interesting. I'm up at uh, the earth cache called the rock garden. And earth caches aren't supposed to have like physical cache containers. An earth cache takes you to a geological feature uh, and then you ask questions about it. And it's more about going to it and seeing, exploring the earth rather than finding boxes. But anyway, that's an explanation of what an earth cache is. But anyway, there's no boxes at earth caches, but on this one, I found one. I figured it out. I opened the cache and I looked at the logbook and it had um, which one it actually was written down in there, and it was actually one that I had found a while ago, like a long time ago. A couple of years ago I found it, and uh, so it wasn't on my GPS as one I hadn't found yet. And it just happened to be really close to where the earth cache is. Normally you can't put a cache within a tenth of a mile, but with earth caches, since there is no actual box, it uh, doesn't matter how close it is to other ones. So, that's why. And the earth cache actually ends on that trail out there, but that was in the sun. So I came in here. Squirrel, did you see that? Anyway, so I came into here and I saw this hole in the tree. I was like, oh, that'll be a good place for one. And, uh, it was. <laughs> anyway, time to finish this earth cache. It's a little hard to tell where I am right now, but I'm basically on the side of a cliff. As you can see, there's rocks straight up and a long drop. That's not too far, but I mean, it would still hurt to fall down there. I'm standing on this little outcropping of rock, and I need to, uh, I've actually tried to find this cache before, and I was walking around in those rocks, and I just didn't find it, so I left, but I found it this time. I mean, this rock is tall, it's just, it's bigger than I am. And, uh, but now I need to climb back out. So, I think you want to come on an adventure with me. So I'm going to put you in the pocket, and let's climb out. 
definitely it's not too much of an adventure. We're just climbing the rocks. It's mossy and slippery. And yeah, it wasn't too bad at all, really. There we go. Made it. And also, I'll show you this other thing. This was, that was a regular cache for the actual box. This one over here is an earth cache. And, um, it's actually a mercury mine. And, like, it's not unexpected. I mean, whoops, it zoomed, didn't it? Whoops, oh well. Anyway, mercury mine. It's all flat landscape. Except down here, there's a big hole. <laughs> it's like maybe eight to ten feet deep. Yeah, it's interesting. But anyway, oh yeah, I can show you. This is kind of a cool view out here. See, so there's this rock. Climb up the rock. You can look. You don't really get a sense of how high you are from video, but it looks nice. Yeah, looks good. Whoa, slippery. I'm gonna move away from the edge. I've lost track of how many I've done, but I have. Uh, one I couldn't find, which I told you about, Lower Lake Rocks, I think. It's, um, it's, I'm pretty sure, missing. Um, and I have one more earth cache to do, and one more regular one. And that'll, well, no, and then there's potential survivor, the multi-cache I was telling you about, but I'm not sure how to even do the first stage on that one, so, anyway. I'm almost done. The way that I was going previously was incorrect, and um, they closed some trails and covered them up and made new ones. And the trail that the cache I was going for was on was one of the closed ones, so I had to figure out what to look for without actually being there. I was about 60 feet away, it's as close as I could get, but uh, I found, I figured it out, and now I'm on to the last available one in the park, and it's half a mile away, which means at least half a mile there, half a mile back, and average walking speed is about 3 miles per hour, so it should take me 20 minutes, not including finding it, so... And I'm pretty close to the parking lot right now. So hopefully within about half an hour, I'll be done. Um, I'll update you soon. Actually, instantly. This hill is deceptive. It comes down, goes down here. And then there's a little hill right there. And uh, I've been here before with my mountain bike racing down this hill as fast as I can, pedaling really hard, and then I hit this, and I didn't realize how steep it was, and then it drops off over here. And I probably, I was up in the air. And at the time, it was wet, and this is a low spot, and this was just all mud. So I jumped off that, it landed about here, right in the middle of the mud. It was, it was fun. Yeah, that's the word I'll use. It was fun. Wow, those things are tall. So it's not just a simple half mile hike. Um, I switched my GPS over to Topo Maps so I can get elevations and everything and see what I'm gonna have to do on my path and it turns out let me wait for the good view the cache is up there on top of that mountain or hill whatever I'll call it a mountain sounds better 
You can see those cool rocks sticking out. Yeah, it's up there. Well, anyway, I'm going for it. It's the last traditional in the park. And it's been, it's been the closest one to my house that I haven't found for so long. And I'm tired of seeing the cache name on my nearest caches list. So I'm going to get rid of it. It'll be a new one. But anyway, time to continue on the trail. I made it. This is the area. I might be spinning too fast. But anyway, I've already found it. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to find, which is way too long because it wasn't even really hidden in a very difficult spot. Which way do I go to leave? Anyway, I'll just go this way. I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, it wasn't hidden. Like, it wasn't covered up by anything. It wasn't cleverly disguised as anything. It was just in a place that you couldn't see unless you looked at it from the right angle. And um, there were lots of places to look and lots of angles to look from. Yeah, this way. So I, uh, it just took a long time to find the right spot. And then when you finally get into the right place and you look the right way, and you just see it laying there, you're like, oh, there it is. And it, you kind of get a sense of relief, like, oh good, it is still there. And I can find them, I'm not blind. Anyway, this is very tricky to navigate while holding a camera. And I don't remember... I don't remember walking up all these rocks. I might be going the wrong way. Oh, we'll see. Yep, I went the wrong way. That blue dot on this side is where the cache is. And let me get the camera. Well, ah, it's hard to. Anyway, you can see my reflection there. But that blue dot is where the cache is, and that's me all walking around. I came from this green line here into it, and then I walked back this way, and that's where I am now, that blue arrow. Which means that as soon as I left the cache site, I made a wrong turn and I walked over all of these rocks for no reason. This is a pretty cool trail though, this is one of the more technical biking trails, I guess. Yeah, I thought I didn't recognize this. That's the cool thing about having a GPS that leaves tracks. Is that if you don't think you're going the right way, you just look at the tracks where you came from, and then you can just be like, no, this isn't the same way I came from, and then turn around. <laughs> anyway. Went pretty far off the trail, off the correct way. Okay, but I don't see where I came from. Oh wait, is this? What the heck? No, because this is where. Uh, this is where the cache is. Which way did I come from? Wait a minute. Is this a trail? No. But it says I came from this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Wait. Aha. Here it is. Yes. This is the trail that I remember. Going this way. Yeah, and then I just walked that way. So, this one, 
Okay, got it. This is the way I'm supposed to go. Good. Now, it's just another half mile hike back to the truck. See you later.